Hi everyone, welcome to US Immigration Hub channel. If you are new to this channel, uh, my name is Liman and I make videos for a family based immigration uh, to simplify the immigration process. If you watch my videos very carefully, you will make your immigration process less stressful. My channel has all the videos you need to complete your immigration process for immigrant and non-immigrant visas. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, share, hit notification bell, and give us a big like so YouTube can share the video with more people like you. By doing this, we will help other people. First of all, I am not an attorney. I'm here to help you based on my personal immigration journey and also based on the information I have from USAS, NVC, and consulate or embassies websites around the world. And also based on the feedback I have from my subscribers. So if you're ready, let's get started. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to pay USAS filing fees online or by mail. And also, we're gonna talk about which method payment is the best. So when you decide to file a petition, make sure you check the filing fee. The first thing you need to do, check the filing fees, how much it costs. To do that, just go to USAS online and then check for the form you wanna file and then see how much it costs. I'm gonna give you an example right here, I-130. If you check the fees, how much it costs for I-130 petition for alien relative, is $535. Now, how to pay US CIS filing fees will depend on whether you are inside the United States or outside the United States. If you are outside the United States, it's a little bit complicated. Why? Because US CIS does not accept all the forms of payment abroad. It's a little bit complicated, but you can contact the embassy or consulate in your country to check for information on how to pay uh, USAS uh, fees. This video is gonna be mainly for people living inside United States. So the form of payment for people living inside United States are clear and I think everybody knows them. So if you are filing online, you can use a credit card, debit card, and bank withdrawal. If you're filing by mail, you can pay by credit card, checks could be personal check certified check uh, uh, money order now let's talk about how to pay us usas filing fee within usa now if you are filing online you can pay by a credit card debit card or bank withdrawal this is a credit card first let's talk about the first uh, form of payment which is credit card we're gonna talk about it acceptable credit card is a visa mastercard American Express and Discover. If you are filing online, you do not need uh, Form G1450, authorization for credit card transaction. Why? Because you are using your card online. So what you need is just account number, expiration date, and the security code in the back of your card. And also the address associated with the card. If you try to put the address that's not associated with the card, it will not be processed, it will be declined. Now, let's go to the second uh, method of payment, which is a debit card. Same thing, acceptable credit card, uh, acceptable, I'm sorry, debit card, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover. Make sure your account has money because they will deduct the money from your account. On how to pay online, you will enter your uh, account number and, uh, and, uh, uh, pay, and your pain. So to be honest with you on this one right here, I never used the debit card to pay uh, USAS fees. I used checks and credit card. Now let's go to the last one, which is uh, how to pay USAS filing fees with bank withdrawal. Acceptable account is a checking account and saving account. So for both, you will need a routing number and account number and your personal information 
So you will need address associated with your account as well. So when you try to pay, you will enter the first thing you're gonna enter is the routing number, and then you follow it by account number, and then you submit your information, you submit your payment to USAS. Now let's go to uh, the second uh, when you submit your uh, application by mail. You can pay by credit card, personal checks, cashier checks, certified checks, and money order. Let's first talk about the credit card. The acceptable credit card are Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. So you will need to complete and sign form G1450, authorization for credit card transaction. And place the form on top of your application, petition, or request when you file it. And make sure the card has money, because if it declined, USAS will not try for this for the second time. So make sure your card has money. So this one, we're gonna go through this form because you must file it when you send your uh, petition. This form, this uh, G1450 form, it is very simple. Uh, you need the applicant or petitioner request information for the first type. It's gonna be about the, app, uh, the applicant or petitioner request. It basically is gonna be the petitioner, given name, middle name, family name, credit card billing information, a given name, middle name, family name, credit card holder, billing address. You can use somebody's card if you want to. If they give you authorization, you can do it. And credit card holder signature, you can do it right here. The zip code is very important. As I said, this, this uh, address right here must be associated with the credit card. If not, it will be declined. And if it declined, they will reject your petition. So here you're gonna enter the credit card information, credit card number, uh, credit card expiration date, Credit card type, you're gonna select one of these four right here, and then the fees, how much it costs. It's gonna be $535 because we take an example I-130. Now let's go to the second uh, method of payment for when you file by mail, which is personal check. Uh, for me, that's the best. You will need to answer your check. First thing, you need to date your check, date it, enter US Department of Homeland Security. Do not enter abbreviation right here. And the cost 535 here 535 and then what is for is for i-130 petition and here your signature now your name here must be your signature now let's go to a uh, second form when you file uh, by mail just pay usa's filing fee by personal check i'm sorry but this is by a cashier check you will need uh, to enter the pay to the order of, you must enter USAS, uh, USAS, and it's not abbreviation, you must enter US Department of Homeland Security. First, you're gonna date it, and you put the cost, and then you sign it. Uh, certified check is the same thing, you're gonna put the date, the cost, you're gonna put uh, US, uh, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, do not put abbreviation, and then you're gonna assign it. Now, let's talk about the last form of payment. It's uh, when you file by mail, is a, is a uh, pay money order, I'm sorry. Paying U.S. sales filing fees by uh, money order. You can get it from a post office, uh, MoneyGram. This one is from MoneyGram. You're gonna put right here, the address is for a U.S. Uh, U.S. Department of Homeland Security, do not put abbreviation. You're gonna put your name right here, and then you're gonna put uh, USAS address right here, and then your signature, and then the cost. You're gonna put the cost. The date, of course, is gonna be right here. And then just take this for your reference because you will need it. Now, let's go to the last one, which is which method payment is the best? You guys, which one you think is the best? That's the question. Personally, the best one is a personal check. I will tell you why. Because personal check, I will know when they deduct my money. And, and I know I have money in my, uh, in my bank. And it will not be declined if I have money in my bank. If you compare it to credit card, sometimes, uh, personally, if, uh, if somebody wanna use my credit card somewhere in Texas or New York, 
it declined the first time. And then my credit card sent me a text telling me, hey, somebody wants to use your credit card in your, do you to authorize them to use your credit card? And it depends on my answer, yes or no. If I see the yes, they will use my credit card. If I say no, they will, they will decline it. But in your case right here with USAS, they will not like that. So that's my personal opinion. So for me, uh, uh, the best method is a personal check. So uh, this is the end of this video. I hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe, share, and notification bell. Thank you, and see you next video.